A new resident, isn't it? Yes, a new one. Hello, how are you? Hello, not bad, thanks. Hello, it's a long way here. Stas, Sasha and Ola. This one has only one eye. She felt so bad, I took her and looked after her. I picked that one in the street too and looked after her. This is Yarisha. This one is Havrosha, with one eye. This is Arrow. She's very active. Do you perform too? Yes, this is me. Sometimes I do solo. How do you find time for everything? The garden, the pets? Somehow I find the time. I try to. I sleep less and work more. Olena Ivanovna, is that you? Do you sing? Yes, I do. Sing for us, please. Please, we're begging you. Okay, but no video. No, we need to film it. Okay. Don't be shy. We sing too. In a group? When we get drunk a little, we sing. Wow, a little more, please. Don't be shy, it's so cool. Brava! Thank you, well done. It's a folk song. This is for you here. 12, 13, 15. They are all the same. These four are for them. Good boy. Good boy. Don't be afraid. Now she's hiding in the dog house. And Naida once made a hole and got out to the shed. Then she got stuck and she couldn't go anywhere. And here's what I did. I made a hole in the wall, put a plank, and then she jumped and got out. Well done, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's it, done. Good boy. Here, have some food. Don't be afraid. Have some meat. It's good. Good boy. They keep calling, thank you. Do they? Yes, one lady, Olena Volodymyrovna, wanted to take a dog. She's from Kyiv. But I told her that I'm so close to them. I couldn't let any of them go. If it was a young one, I would give it. But I can't live without them. Did anyone bring you food? Yes, they did. Some people brought food. And someone even took one of my cats to treat. My neighbor was here then. It was Oksana, our friend. 
Yes, she said she'd take her to a vet. But I told her the cat was old, 17 years old. I had a friend, Sveta. She once helped me to get the cat sterilized. But one cat is not sterilized. What kind of problem have you got? You didn't finish. On March 10th, I was leaving my apartment. Because Russians were around the building and I took a dog with me. But I had to leave two cats, Aza and a new little one, in the apartment because they hid under the bathtub. And I couldn't get them out. They were really scared. Before that, we had been hiding in the basement, but it got worse, so I had to leave. At first I walked, but then some people picked me up and gave me a ride. Here is the little one. I left her in the apartment back then. So later on, when Russian soldiers were around the area, I came and asked them to let me in. They did, and I took all of them with me. I brought them here, and everything was fine. You know, when I was leaving, I couldn't take them with me. I left them some food and some water. There was heavy bombing, everything was shaking, but I managed to leave them some food. The three of them were good friends, so I thought they'd survive together. I hoped that would be enough for them, and then I'd return in a couple of days and check on them. But they kept bombing heavily, and I came later than I'd expected. I was going there thinking, oh god, are they still alive? I thought they had died since it had been eight days since I'd left them. But they ate all the food, they had water to drink and they survived. I took them with me then. The soldiers asked me why I was going to the apartment. I told them I wanted to take my pets. They asked if I had somewhere to go and if I had relatives. I said yes. Then they asked why my relatives didn't help me. I said that they were scared. They asked if I was scared. I said yes, but I was more worried about my pets. So I took them with me, I brought them here, and they quickly got used to the place. Here's the other one, Nusa. She hid under the tub. And now they are so loyal to me, they follow me wherever I go. And then on March 31st, there was heavy bombing, everything was shaken again, and the door in this house opened, it's an old house built in 1942. The door wasn't very good, and it unlocked and Bera, the dog, ran away. And you can't find it now? No, I can't. I don't know where she is. She's black and white. She looks like Naida. She's got a black muzzle and a white stripe across like a badger. Naida, Naida, here, just like her. She's got stand-up ears, she's small too. Olena Ivanovna, is this food enough for the time being? Oh yes, more than enough. I'm asking because people want to help. Could you give us your credit card number? I don't have one. I get my pension in a shot bank, but I'm really grateful to people to you for your help too. And a lady, her name is Ola, gave you $20. She's from the USA. Thank you so much, Ola. Thank you. Ruslana from Italy. So people have been calling you, haven't they? Good. 
180,000 people watched your video. Sveta, Dima, thank you. Thank you too for your kind hearts. Thank you for your bravery for looking after the pets. I am also grateful to my sister. I stayed with my sister for a while, and my son stayed with another sister. My neighbor Nadia also helped me. They would bring whatever they had. You see, I have a lot of dogs and cats, and all of them are hungry, so we made food for them. It's good we had potatoes, you know. It's said potatoes aren't good for them, but it was the only food we had. We had a lot of it from my garden, so I boiled them, chopped them, added a little corn, we ate what we had. But people helped a lot too. Nadia and my sister's families helped us a lot. My neighbors once slaughtered a pig and gave us some meat. We cooked it with my sister and gave it to the pets, little by little. We also had sunflower oil, it helped. It was a difficult time. I'm grateful to people for their help. Thanks a lot. Don't cry, let's help your cats. Olena Ivanovna, so you have only two cats that aren't sterilized, right? Yes, only two. One has had kittens, we'll sterilize her later. She's got three kittens. So should we ask some local vets or someone on the internet so that they come and help you later? There is a man in Klavdievo. He helped me before. Maybe someone will come and do the transportation for your cats. Because we thought none of your cats were sterilized. No, no, no. God forbid. The first one is ready. Do you get any help from the local authorities or humanitarian funds? Do they bring you anything? Well, yes, they did. I got some humanitarian aid. Do they reach you? You live at the end of the village. Yes. Well, during the war no one came here because the road was closed. Tanks everywhere. Russian machinery. So no one would come here. And when the area was freed by our troops, I got humanitarian aid since then. We even had some coupons and they gave us stuff. How's your son now? My son? He's disabled, you know. He was hit by a train in 1992. He's got artificial limbs. He's good. He's visiting his friends in Nemishaevo now. He's coming back on Saturday. I wanted him to meet you all. He's very sociable. He's a good young man. How does he move? He's got artificial limbs. In 1994 we went to Germany and we got the artificial limbs there. He used them for a very long time. Then he got new ones in Kyiv. When you cut cat's fur, they get really stressed. Dogs do, by the way. If you have a vet visiting you, ask them to check the cats. They might need an injection or a pill. She's got tears in her eyes constantly? Yes. Her owners died, and I took her. 
She's a good girl. But she's scared. <laughs> if they have too many fleas and you don't have drops, you can wash them in this. It'll help. You know, it's very hard to wash them. I leave it just in case. You might need it. If you don't need it, you can give it to somebody else. Okay, thank you. She said when she saw me in the video, saw me speaking, it felt like being at home. And she started missing home badly. She watched the video some days in a row. And she was really happy. And it was like watching a film. So thank you for that too. Bandit. 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 Bandit.